Hey guys, welcome to another GTSS video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about Google Chrome 37 beta for your computer. And it's going to be 64-bit now. So if you don't know how to get Google Chrome beta, I'll have a link in the description for the link. But you go ahead and install it. You can select any of the checkboxes and you go ahead and save the installation file. Once you do this, go ahead and open up the installation file. It should be an exe file. And it won't take very long at all to download and install Google Chrome beta. Now note that it does replace your Google Chrome stable. But once you've installed it, go ahead and check what version you have by clicking on that hot dog thing and about Google Chrome. You should have Google Chrome 37 beta 64 bit. If you do, you're set. Now you might be wondering what the big deal with 64 bit is. Now, the computer where you're watching this on probably has 64 bit, like most computers nowadays. This allows each processor to use and process data significantly quicker. So when any application like Google Chrome can take advantage of these 64-bit processors, that application, and in this case Google Chrome, can run significantly faster. Every operation that involves reading data, so pretty much everything, runs way faster when it's using 64-bit processors. That's why this is such a big deal, and that's why when the iPhone 5S was released, the 64-bit processor was such a big deal. Not only that, but 64-bit architecture also makes Google Chrome way more secure. Now stay tuned to this channel because I'm going to be releasing a Google Chrome 36 versus 37 64-bit speed test just to see how much faster the 64-bit version is. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I certainly hope you learned something and enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.